Hey everybody, I uh, just decided to do another project of the golf cart. I know I, I have a problem. But uh, I wanted to show off the new stereo system that we put in. It took a while to figure out all the wiring, uh, especially for what I've done here, but um, I'm pretty proud of how it turned out. Let me show it off here a second. Um, so this is what it looks like here in the dash. And uh, I'm really proud of the way the dash all cut out, and I love these little LED backlights. I put a master kill switch here just because I didn't want those on all the time, draining the battery. Also, I put this on a separate circuit from uh, drive. Uh, just in case all else fails, you could still make it home. Uh, but uh, So what's cool about this is you've got all these neat little LEDs. You've got a nice little voltmeter that tells you how many volts you got, uh, how much power you got. Um, but up here you got a uh, headlight, and if you can probably see that in the video, it's real super bright. We're in the lit garage, so it's kind of that way. Down below here, if you look down here, is the uh, control unit that I installed that controls that underground lighting. Really proud of that. A thousand features with that. So that's kind of cool. And then uh, this, if uh, you look in the back, super bright backup light comes in real handy, especially with all the kids in the neighborhood and. You know, if you're playing cornhole, of course, that always works out great. And then uh, uh, the speakers, if you pan back out here a little, Kale, that's these are the speakers for the system I put in. But I didn't want to I didn't want to lose my storage space, so I put hinged doors on this thing, which I'm really proud of. So it'll let you come in here, access your stuff. I put little storage lights in here so you can see what's going on. And I ran a circuit back here underneath the, the back seat. So really proud of that. And then uh, this is for here. If you've got drinks, they're really neat. When you, uh, when you light up, you know, um, putting glass bottles in there, it lights up the whole bottle blue. It's kind of cool. Um, and then uh, this here is the stereo head, which is really neat. It's all Bluetooth, AM, FM, uh, really nice. And I sacrificed a cup holder to put it in there, but it, uh, it worked out pretty well. And uh, to turn it on, it's kind of interesting how this works. You, you, oh, one more thing. I put this little antenna in over here on the side so I could get AM, FM. Uh, so that's kind of cool. But uh, you click it on, kills everything off, and then it goes to this little, like, three-second delay, and then everything comes back on. Uh, but the... The speakers are kind of cool. They do all this neat little color, and you can hear the stereo coming on. It's actually pretty loud, pretty nice, and it's going. It's got a remote control for the uh, for the speakers. So you can change colors, you can change modes, and make it do all kinds of cool stuff. You know, whatever. It's <laughs> it's just neat, and it's it's pretty fun, and. Quite honestly, I'm glad that I'm done with it because it was a lot of work to get it uh, to where it is. But anyway, I just thought I'd share. Thanks for uh, listening, and I hope you liked it. All right, thank you. Bye.